Good Sunday morning to everybody this morning. Thank you for watching my channel. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, thank you for all the good comments that I have got this week. It makes me feel so good. I thank, the, thank you so much. Didn't get as many bad ones this week. Um, so that made me feel good too. But thank you for all the good comments. It, it's just, I am so blessed. I am filming this uh, this video on Saturday. We are giving my husband a surprise 70th birthday party tonight. I'm trying to get ready for that. Um, he doesn't know it. We're we're trying. I hope we I hope we pull it off. But um, it's been a busy week. Had several doctor's appointments. We, we, we went with the grandbaby to the. Um, doctor next week my husband has a doctor's appointment on tuesday with a heart doctor so anyhow we stay busy to be older people we do stay busy but what i wanted to talk to you about this morning i have family that lives north of us uh i won't call any names or anything like that but they farm he raises cattle and i talked to his wife this week uh, like I say they're relatives of ours but we were talking and they farm a lot of land they mostly raise cattle uh, but she was telling me in their home they have propane logs they ha they their house is run by electricity but they have propane logs. They have a fireplace, but they haven't used it in a couple of years. But she said the first of the week, they got the gas company to come out and fill their tanks up. She said the one at her home was a 125-gallon tank. Uh, they have another little house on their property that they try to keep up for any family that's coming from out of town needs a place to stay, they can stay there. So she said they had the tank filled up there. I, I figured, I didn't ask her how big the tank was, but I figured about the same thing hers was. But she said they had a gas hot water heater, gas stove, and gas logs in the, in the little house. But she had got the propane company to come and fill those tanks up. And she said it was $1,100 to fill up those tanks. She said, I like to have fell out. She said, I just could not believe it was that high. But she said her husband, a couple of weeks ago, needed to fertilize his fields. But she said they could not afford the fertilizer. She said the fertilizer, the price of the fertilizer was just ridiculous. So somewhere up there around them, they have chicken farms, and the farmer sells the chicken manure, I guess, as fertilized. So she said they had to get, buy their fertilized from him because she said they could not afford the fertilized to uh, fertilize their, their fields for their cows. So that's what they were using to fertilize with. And she told me, she said, what is people going to do? She said, she said, how in the world are people going to survive that have to uh, buy gas to heat with? She said, the groceries are already high enough. But she said, what are people going to do to heat with? She said, I'm really concerned about it. And, you know, she said, anybody anybody that can get out um you know that that can buy their groceries now before they go hire them having a farm they're not getting what they used to for their beefs but yet they sell them and who they sell them to if they slaughter them they get in the killing off of them they do not they do not raise beef to be slaughtered they raise their their beef they have their calves and they sell their calves off 
But she said, you know, how in the world are people going to make it this year? So, you know, it, it's really bad. It's bad for the elderly people that live in on Social Security like we are. We have electricity and we have a fireplace. That's what we heat by. But she said also she had heard that the electric companies were going to start going up on the electricity, which we figured they would. Gas is going up, so um, naturally electricity is going to go up too. We have a fireplace. When it's really cold outside, we will be running our fireplace. Our fireplace is in the middle of the house. My house is small, but my dining room is in the middle of the house, and that's where... The fireplace is at. Our home is about 60 years old. So we we use the fire. I'm very cold natured, so we use the fire during the winter. But t people, we're fixing to go through some terrible times. You can't afford to buy propane to heat your homes with, to cook with. And the groceries is going up so high. If you're not preparing now, what are you going to do? Things are just getting higher and higher. And I really believe eventually there is going to be a shortage. What we're eating this year was raised last year. It takes about six months, I understand, to get a beef ready to slaughter. They, last year, when there were so many shortages, they was uh, pushing their bees through the process and early. This year, they don't have it to do. I believe by the first of the year, we're going to start seeing real bad shortages. And, you know, we need to get prepared. If you, if you haven't prepped, you need to get prepping. I am a prepper, my pantry is full, my freezers are full, but I'm still prepping. If I go to the store, which I haven't been in about two weeks, if I go to the store, they have sales, they have something on sale, I get it, I bring it home and I prep it. Whether it's to go into the freezer or it's going in a, in a jar. I went to Bailey's last week and they had pepper, real good price on pepper and I bought pepper. I came home, I prepared it, and I put it in my freezer. I've got plenty of pepper in my freezer, but if I find another sale, if I went today and they had a good sale on it, I'd buy it today and I'd prep it and put it in the freezer. One of our grocery stores in Century has got a real good sale on meat. Uh, I'm going tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. I'm going, uh, I'm going Monday. I'm going Monday, and uh, I've got to buy me up some more meat, but probably to can, not to go in the freezer. But I try. I d we don't know what next year is going to be. We may be able to get through this year okay, but start next year, I believe we're going to start seeing a lot of shortages. If you have extra money, my advice to you is to try to get you some stuff to put up. I don't know how it's going to be. Um, I don't know. Yeah, you know, I don't know how it's going to be. I, uh, you know, my prayer for you, get prepared. If we don't have a shortage, then you will have plenty and you won't have to buy next year. Have, be sensible. A lot of people, I hear, I get a lot of people, you know, keep telling me. And, and I know the Lord will provide for those that believe in Him. He will provide for you. But He gives you sense enough to get out and not sit down and just wait on Him or somebody else to do for you. Uh, I believe in prepping. I'll prep everything I can get my hands on. I have a family. I know elderly people that may need help. The Lord blesses me where I can buy stuff to put up. I'm going to put it up and I'm going to can it. Because I believe by the, by the first of next year we're going to start really seeing a difference 
in our economy. It's already bad, and I think it's just going to get worse. So, if you haven't started prepping, please do. It's going to get bad. If you have, uh, if you heat that fire, try to get you some wood. We've got several loads coming in. We've got some. And if we run out of wood and we can't get it, we got some trees we can cut down. But uh, get prepared. Don't, don't sit around and say, well, they say this and they say that, and I don't believe it. I, you know, I don't see it. I think we're going to be okay. Don't believe that because I don't think we're going to be okay. So anyhow, um, thank you for watching my video. This video is, is uh, I done it on Saturday. We got a busy day today. Uh, to, I, I wanted to try to get it uh, on the YouTube in the morning. If I do them on Sunday, I can't get them on YouTube till that afternoon. But I can do them on Saturday and put them on YouTube on Sunday morning. But anyhow, I hope you've enjoyed my video. Um, if you haven't subscribed to us, please do. Give us a thumbs up. It helps our channel to grow so that we can put on more videos. For all my subscribers, thank you so much. My channel is growing. I never thought that I could get a channel to grow, but thank you so much. You do, I am so blessed. Thank you for all the comments. And uh, please have a good day. Be safe, and I love each and every one of you.